Hello everybody, this is The Beast, Chapter 6, the Voice of the Beast. Now I look from my window and see that the light is going from the earth. Tonight the moon will be up for most of the night. Its silver light will fall like soft rain on the woods and trees, on the tops of the hills. Soon I will feel the cold night wind on my face, the air moving through the hairs on my head and arms and back. I will listen to the sound of my feet as they walk on the wet earth and the grass. I will hear the small sounds of animals as they move quickly to get out of my way. I am going out tonight. You ask why? I will tell you. Some visitors have arrived. I watched them come through the woods. I saw them looking around in the strange new place. They are city people. Here they are unsure. They move carefully. Then later they were in the pub. Death has touched her with its cold fingers. I could see that in her eyes. Now she is afraid of the darkness that is following her. But also there is something in her face that I know. I have seen that face before, I am sure. Maybe in Greece? Northern Italy? Maybe in a mountain village somewhere. She interests me. I cannot stop thinking about her. I want her to come with me, to be with me. I know she is ready to come into my world. But she does not know it herself yet. When I tell her, she will understand what she must do. But I must be careful. The time must be right. First, I will go and welcome her, take her a present. I must make myself ready. I walk across the room in the darkness to the fireplace. Daylight makes me weak and ill. The soft, silvery light of the moon is what I like. From the wall I take my belt. It's a large and heavy, black and silver. On the silver there is the face of a dog, the dog that sits at the entrance to the underworld. I put the belt carefully on the floor in front of the fire. I get down on my knees and put both my hands on the belt. Softly I repeat the words that I must say. The words are in a language no man or woman can speak. I feel the heat from the fire on my face. In the center of the fire, I watch my thoughts come and go. After a while, after all the words are finished, I stand up and put on the belt. Immediately, my arms and legs start to feel strong. I look towards the blackening sky and give a wild shout. Then, in one great jump, I am gone from the room through the open window. The night is cold, but I do not feel it. I will not feel it until I become a man again. I touch the belt around the middle of my body. I know what to do when the moment comes. So that is another chapter of The Beast. Wow. He has some plans for Susie. What is the present? What is it that Susie must do? What is it that the beast needs to do? Hmm, I'm sure we're going to find out soon enough. All right, I'll see you when we talk about this in class and then chapter seven. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.